Prior to 1940, many parts of the Upper Mississippi River were too shallow to support large commercial vessels such as barges. In 1930, Congress authorized the construction of a series of locks and dams to maintain a minimum nine-foot channel depth along the Upper Mississippi River. Commercial and recreational vessels are both allowed to use the lock and dam system. However, commercial traffic is given priority and cannot share a lock with a recreational vessel. This is lock and dam number four, located at Alma, Wisconsin one of 29 locks and dams along the Upper Mississippi River. The pool level created above this dam is generally about three feet higher than below the dam. The vessel enters the lock and a lock assistant will direct each vessel as to how far into the lock it needs to travel. They will also assist in tossing guide ropes to recreational craft. When the vessel is in place, gates are closed on both ends of the lock to contain the water. Once the gates are secured, the lockmaster will begin to pump out or pump in water to lower or raise the vessel to the height of the outbound pool. When the water level in the lock reaches the same level as the outbound pool, the gates are opened and the vessel is allowed to exit. These locks are manned by the Army Corps of Engineers seven days a week, 24 hours a day.